Hey guys, what's up? Evil Hammer here, and it's about halfway through the week, which is about, you know, about, I don't know, five or six days after bonus experience weekend was done. Um, but I got really busy with schoolwork afterwards, and I didn't have time to make the video. So this is gonna be the video going over what I got over the bonus experience weekend, along with basically my second Max Cape, uh, Road to Max Cape video, because doing everything I did on the weekend basically contributed to 99s. Um, so first off, what I started with was I went ahead and I had a bu bought a bunch of um, Adamant bars. I think I had like 20,000 or so. I have about like 6,000 Addy plate bodies. I got an ALK now in my bank. Um, but I basically just went and did that and I had about 600 or 800 bonus experience in it. Um, so I was getting three times experience basically all the way up until about 400k, 400, 500 experience. Um, 400 or 500k experience until I got 99 so that was nice and quick that only took me about four hours I believe in total three or four hours uh, I don't do it like hardcore where I'm like paying attention so that's why it took me so long um, I was using the uh, I found the I was using the FC I use for not Vizwax but <laughs> for uh, for the portables and I was using the portable range at Barbarian Assault so I was just literally going right back and forth which is like really simple um, and then after I did that, I went ahead and I had a crafting, no, what did I, what did I get? Uh, 99 Hunter. So for the two days um, of the experience weekend, uh, I did my um, Hunter box trap. So I was getting a m really ridiculous amounts of experience for Hunter. I only need like about 200k experience and I got that easily within the two days. I used the Vizwax and extended both days so I could get 200%, 200% um, of what I'm allowed to claim per day. So I got really good experience there. And then after that, um, after I got the 99 Hunter, which I'll show both of those right now on the screen. Okay guys, so we got this first clip here and this will be the 99 Smithing. As you can see, I'm at Bavarian Assault and I get it, which was really great. I was happy to get that one out of the way because that one is a pain in the butt. And the next clip is gonna be of me getting 99 Hunter. And I was on World 2 doing this because that was the easiest place to get Hunter spots and it was really, really laggy. So you see like me clicking and getting nothing and then all of a sudden a bunch of experience drops and I get my 99 Hunter. Uh, and a bunch of people will say, well not a bunch, but a few of my friends say congrats to the people that are on. Uh, I appreciate whoever PM me and if you say congrats after this, thanks. So then after that, I went ahead and did uh, divination for the rest and I got really bored. Uh, also, I had some, unfortunately, I had a decent amount of work to do that weekend, uh, school work wise, so I didn't get as much divination as I would like. Um, I only got to level 95, um, which is kind of shitty in my opinion. I really wanted to get to like 97, uh, but I couldn't, I just, I didn't have enough gumption or time to get to it. I was doing it AFK. I was using the Nightmare Moose Buzz, which I'm starting to use now just because I just want, I hate divination so much. Even with triple experience, it's so slow. It's only about two, three, two, three hundred K an hour. Um, I can go to the next location, guys, right now. Um, you do see me at this location right now. It's because of my challenges for Luminous Memories. And unfortunately, they did do a another annoying update on me to uh, uh, kill me. Um, but anyways, after, before I get into that, uh, for divination, I basically got, um, I think it was about t two mil experience in total. Um, I used about 500,000 of my uh, divination, bonus divination experience, so it was all triple time. Um, and I'm about to my goal of 10 million experience here. I'd like to get that within a week or half a week. Uh, I don't play this game at crazy crazy amounts so that's why when I say a week or a half a week obviously some people could do it in a day but I don't, I don't have that much time also I didn't get my 99 fletching over bonus experience weekend I did however have a bunch of bones in my um, in my port as well as some stuff to make for my rune crafting so the um, sea singers so I did get bonus experience for that so if you guys don't know next time that's a great way to use your bonus experience um, is make anything in the ports still gives you double. I also had practically maxed out um, spices, so I did a bunch of cooking for no reason whatsoever, uh, just to do it. Um, so the one thing I'm gonna talk about, which is really annoying, is I'll show you guys here. We're gonna go ahead and use these Vizwax, and I always do this challenge extend because it's a great experience. It used to be like 
25, 30, 40 maybe? 30 or 40, viz I think it was like 30 Vizwax to extend it. Now it's 50. You can only get 100 of these per day, and 50 of them is pretty expensive in my opinion to double. It is still worth it because I'm not going, I'm going to get as much experience as I can. I, money's not that big of a deal. So if I can do it, I'll use it. Um, but it's kind of annoying because that's a lot of money to dump into um, just getting double experience basically um, for a challenge. So that's kind of a downer. But other than that, guys, I've just been working slowly on divination. I'm not really doing that much. I am also, after the, I believe I got Hunter the second day, so I still had one day um, of my uh, of my div divine location, so I've started to use the uh, divine, what the hell are they? I don't know. I'm going to mess this up so bad. Like, Sacrum, sim, sim, sim locations, I don't know, whatever the hell they are. Uh, they give you divination experience. Um, when you harvest them and they give you like energy and some signs of life and signs of restorations. So that's basically all I've been doing for uh, the hunt divine spots now. That way I still get some experience in something. That's the only thing I need now um, that I can do with those. And all I need is the 99 fletching and the 99, 97 rune crafting, which uh, basically I'm just going to do that through challenges as well. I didn't do any of that over bonus experience weekend because divination in my opinion is way more boring and it's I think it's about like 100k normal wise um, experience slower uh, per hour than divination is. Sorry, the rune crafting is 100k faster uh, at my level from what I can harvest in a rune span. So that's why I didn't do that. I just was like, I'll do that. So basically, just three skills now, guys. Um, now, rune crafting, I'm at about 11 mil. Uh, divination, unfortunately, I'm only at 8.8, .8, so almost 9 mil there. Uh, so that's quite a bit off still um, and then fletching I only need to get 300k which is about a challenge and a half because for about a challenge I get about 120 150k uh, which is a decent for experience wise and that'll be me maxed out so I will see you guys in the next episode bye